So yes, today is the high peak of a full pink moon. Tomorrow is going to be the low peak, so it's like the last day pretty much of it being there and then it's going to be, you know, gone. But anyways, so the reason why it's called a pink moon, this is like the most important moon of the whole year. And yes, it happens every year. But this time is when the moon is actually super close to the earth and by the scientifically proven laws, that if the object is super close to us, we see it in the reddish tones. If it's farther away, we see it like blue or uh, purple. That's why the sun is freaking yellow, because it's kind of close to us, but not too far. So anyways, the moon gets closer to us, and it actually stimulates the, you know, the days to be much warmer and hotter, which signifies the coming of the spring. Finally, if you want a witch explanation, then it's all because around this time is when the pink moth is starting to grow. Pink moth is kind of important for, you know, signifying the birth of like the newer kind of time, the spring, you know, because that's when the new year would be celebrated and stuff. But anyways, this is kind of the time where like things are finally starting to grow. So this is a big thing because for like planting and stuff, that is like a red or I mean green light to like go ahead now you can start planting and stuff so yeah if you plant you know what I'm talking about if you don't that's okay and well yesterday I did post a, a video that I've done you know a sort of long time ago but it was a pink bath that I do usually for like mm, new moons or something but this one is really really accurate to do right now during the pink moon in and it's kind of complicated because you would have to have like all pink ingredients pretty much like uh, Himalayan pink salt or stuff which you might not have that's still okay in any ways so there's no specific rituals but today's pink moon is really really important if you want to start a new kind of business a lot of people are starting like selling stuff online today is a super beneficial day to do that so what I actually mean by the business stuff is that, like I said, if you're uh, willing to start some kind of a new deal going on, new sales, you're opening some kind of a store, uh, you know, anything in that kind of order, or if you're just planning to start like new project or something, if you're an artist or whatever else, um, today is like a very, very, very beneficial day. Although it might not go so well today, meaning like, oh, you would not succeed or it goes the way you would like it to go, but it gives a really good head start to in general uh, process in, in about half a year or so. This will like be a boomerang that will kind of throw back at you and you will see that you know all of a sudden you're making a lot more profit or the project was super successful you know things are going just beautifully well so that's what i mean by the business stuff but if you actually like something more of like um you know meditations or rituals you could do your rituals as you like, you know, people gather moon water, uh, talk to me about that, I will explain more, but like, um, in general for meditation, it's kind of no, like, no sad meditation goal there is just to sit in silence and listen to your inner self, because when we actually sit in silence, we, you know, our mind goes wild, we try and fill in the the quiet place and that is happening naturally and you would have to kind of sit and try to calm down all of those thoughts going on in your head and actually get to hear that inner thought that kind of speaks in from inside that you would be blocking on because well it's just your subconscious so you can't really hear it like you know on a daily basis so that would be really good because it might be a solution to a problem or some kind of hint for 